Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. I hope you're ready for this mansion. I built it on a 50 by 40 lot in Delso Valley and I wanted to create a beautiful mansion that is just perfect for summer. Just really bright, beautiful, not dark and gloomy and I didn't want to build a beach mansion in Solani or something. I just wanted to build a regular luxurious mansion but I wanted it to be very bright and happy and I just wanted it to scream summer. I added lots of plants including some palm trees so it's just very happy and upbeat looking and I guess your sims could have the time of their lives on this lot. There's a pool, barbecue area, home gym, just anything your sims might need. And I started off by building this patio area here. I decided that I just needed some bigger columns. So I simply combined four columns to create a bigger one. I used the columns from Get Famous. I used the tool mod to move the columns. And as always, the little disclaimer, you don't need the tool mod to download this build from the gallery. It's CC free and unmodded. When you are using the tool mod, like I'm doing here, everything is still in place and you can just grab it from the gallery. And it doesn't matter if you are on PC or console. And I've actually only used the two mod like for some very small things just like for the columns for example this isn't a tool heavy build at all it's just like some really small things so at this point I created these big columns I used this roof from island living and I'm going to use a different wool swatch for the rest of the house and I just want this to be so happy I didn't want to use lots of dark colors I'm just going to use a black swatch for some of the windows as you will see because I wanted to have like a slight contrast and I always feel like when you have this contrast and when you are using black windows it always it always just looks so modern it's just a very specific vibe I love this like also when I'm using the island living glass floors I always prefer the black swatch it looks so modern and cool I just love it so much and I then just slowly expanded the build just as I do most of the time so I had laid out like the centerpiece of the house in the back and then I just added a room and this is the black swatch that I was talking about the windows are from snowy escape and I wanted this to have like a bit of a modern vibe when you look at the columns for example it is a bit modern but i didn't want to have this look where you have big glass windows like just like one big gigantic glass pane like a really hyper modern vibe this wasn't what i was going for i wanted to keep it very low-key like a bit modern but most importantly very upbeat and just really happy just a beautiful garden where you just want to spend your summer in and this also goes for the house and the interior as well of course i used different trees and plants and bushes the tree on the left side like the bigger one is from the wedding pack and i love it so much like this is one of my favorite editions when it just comes to recent debug editions i love this tree so much and i use it all the time and it just, it just looks so cool i think they should have added this tree to the regular build by menu so you don't have to enter debug it just looks so so cool so my main mission here was to create a really beautiful garden a nice house shape but i also wanted to add a bit of complexity without going overboard like i wanted this to look realistic like a realistic mansion that is still kind of over the top but I didn't want to include some really crazy round shapes or something I wanted to keep it simple but I still had to just add different things to make it stand out so I wanted to use different levels I used the platforms for the patio and I'm later on going to add a basement I'm going to remove the ceiling and then I'm going to add another pool area and also a home gym area in the basement right next to the pool just so there is more complexity in this area here as well. I just wanted to expand the build and make it look more interesting. And this is just an area for hanging out, sunbathing, because as I said, it's all about the summer. Also, it's been so warm here in Germany and I'm really enjoying it. Like it's the sweet spot where it's not too hot, but it's also not cold. So you're not freezing, but it's also not like really, really hot because at some point... 
it is too hot <laughs> and I really like to complain about this. I'm that annoying person that at some point when it's like super hot I'm just complaining and I don't even want to go out into the sun because I feel like I'm burning <laughs> and yeah but right now it's really beautiful like it's uh, early summer and it's already very warm and sunny and very consistently so and I'm, I'm really enjoying it and I hope it's the same for you wherever you are if you're in the northern hemisphere I'm just hoping that you have great weather I feel like after a long dark winter it's like the best thing and it just lifts your mood and I just love this so much also like sometimes I think you can hear birds chirping in the background of my voiceovers because I'm right next to a window and the birds are so loud like there are trees in front of the window and there are like some birds in the trees and I love this so much actually but I noticed that it's like in the background but I figured this is like not some type of annoying noise because I mean who doesn't like the chirping of birds it's like rain noises ASMR stuff <laughs> I think there's probably nothing wrong with this so sometimes you can hear them in the background and ever since it's so warm you can just sometimes hear them and my cat loves it as well like she's like losing it sitting in front of the window watching the birds and she just has the most shocked look on her face like as shocked as a cat could look when there's like a gigantic pigeon <laughs> flying by and like sometimes I'm surprised I mean pigeons probably come in different sizes but I'm like to my, saying to my boyfriend these are getting bigger and bigger by the day like some of them look look like chickens I feel like <laughs> I'm like is this a, a pigeon or a whole chicken I don't know they are like really big yeah, and here at this point I'm building the basement. I was running into an issue because on the right side, like this little flower bed, I had used a round foundation piece or platform piece, I don't remember, and I just added a fence to it and I just wanted to have a very simple small round flower bed. But then just because I added it to the basement, it wouldn't let me expand the basement at all. Like it wouldn't allow me to remove the wall. It was telling me that it's like an invalid rounded room or something or shape. And I had to get rid of this just so I was able to expand the basement and actually like build this room over here and connect it. So I just gave up and I made it like just a simple diagonal shape because I was like really annoyed by this. And then I just decorated this. So I wanted to have another pool down there and a barbecue area and most importantly the home gym area. I didn't want it to add the home gym area to the house itself. I wanted it to be located right next to the pool you will see later on. And I also built a bathroom down there because it's like super annoying when your sims work out and they like have the need to shower and your sims have to like find a bathroom in a huge mansion. I feel like as long as there's enough space there should be a bathroom right next to the home gym area in the sims and in this case i had enough space of course like i mean when you're building a basement you could like build the biggest basement ever like the whole lot my mom does this actually like shout out to my mom when she's swimming she builds the most over the top basements that i've ever seen like she builds a beautiful mansion mostly modern really beautiful and then she just I don't know let's say it's a 64 by 64 lot and you go down to the basement it's like one gigantic 64 by 64 room and there are like multiple bowling alleys and maybe a bar a dance floor and just all kinds of different things there's like a whole universe down there like hidden in the basement of her mansions and I'm like obsessed with this like it's so over the top and there's like so much going on and it's like smart she like uses all the space so technically you could like really use the basement space to create the most fun things ever but for some reason it always feels so weird to build in a basement because you can't add windows and stuff I mean we can add a glass roof or the add living glass floors but I'm always like annoyed I feel like I'm so used to having lots of windows in a build so I don't have to find lots of paintings for the walls 
like I really like to just have lots of windows and curtains and, and call it a day so you don't have like all these empty walls then you have to find shelves and building a basement sometimes stresses me out I don't know if I'm the only one let me know if you are feeling the same way I just love to have a good window here I'm furnishing and I wanted to create a really unique shelf. I just built a really small room, like one tile wide, and then I just added these doorways. These are from Cats and Dogs, I think, but there are also many in the base scheme. And then I just used the base scheme shelf and I sized it up. It depends what you have to press on your keyboard to size up objects, like it depends on the keyboard layout and the language you are using essentially. And I just sized it up and placed in there so you don't need tool for this. I was struggling when I wanted to place the one at the bottom and I involved a tool in this, but like generally you can just really size up your, your shelf and you just place it in there. And I stumbled upon this wall color and I was so obsessed. It's from Jungle Adventure. I had never seen it. I always have the hardest time finding a nice wallpaper and, and color. Like this is so difficult for me. And I just stumbled upon this and this wallpaper just kind of set the mood and the style for the whole interior. At this point, I decided to have this nice contrast of this beautiful green color, more darker tones, a bit of white here and there, but like this very specific vibe, you might already see what I'm going for here. And I was like so obsessed. I had the best time furnishing this. And I also thought it's so cool to have this green color because as I said, it was wanted this to be very upbeat and just very I just want this to have summer vibes and I feel like this way I added a bit of color and also it just looks beautiful like nature like a nice green color is always great it reminds me of summer of nature and of the jungle so I think it's really suitable even though it's like not the most brightest upbeat interior it still kind of matches and I had a really hard time just really being happy with the huge windows and different colors because in some areas I had used a white swatch and then in some areas a black swatch and it felt super weird to have like one open room with all these different window colors swatches but then it just kind of worked I decided to use the curtains from dream home decorator and then it just kind of worked out especially in combination with this wallpaper color and I just built this beautiful living room area. I placed a huge TV on the wall. I used the cabinets from Dream Home Decorator, so it looks like some type of cupboard situation and I'm also going to build another living room which will only have a fireplace and a piano so more like a beautiful area for entertaining guests but this is just like the the area to hang out and watch a good movie with the whole family so I just wanted to have different areas and this is the dining room area I had like I just have this room and as I said earlier I wanted this to have some complexity when it comes to the different levels so I wanted to include the basement but also different platform levels and as you can see here the interior is on different levels and I think that this like really makes the interior really beautiful but it also helps to just kind of lay out the different areas it kind of separates the house into different areas because it's like gigantic I have to admit it's quite spacious and it's very open and this way it like feels it just feels a bit more cozy I feel like because it still like separates all the different areas this is the kitchen at first I wanted to build the kitchen where I was like building the living room with the TV on the wall but then I figured oh no I need more space I have to build one of those really gigantic Kate Emerald mansions where I have a obnoxiously big kitchen with cabinets so high no one will ever reach them because this is what I'm doing and so many people over the years have like asked me how is anyone supposed to reach the cabinet and my reply is I don't know it just looks good and I'm so glad that Sims don't actually have to access the cabinets so it's just a it's just a personal very questionable choice to always place all these cabinets so high up but I just like the look of it it just looks cool I like it I don't know if you like it let me know if you are like guilty of this as well but it just looks so cool 
so that's what I'm doing and yeah I mean it has no function cabinets are just like really a nice decoration and that's it no one needs them so they might as well just look really cool and they're just for decorative purposes <laughs> yeah, and this just what I like when I was talking about this this was just the the um, living room that I was talking about which has a beautiful fireplace and everything was like really green at this point like as I said the choice for the wallpaper set the mood for the whole interior but as soon as I started to work on the bedrooms on this level I just use different colors like I just wanted to add a bit of personality to all the different bedrooms and I built two regular bedrooms and one is the master bedroom and then I also built this kids room here which has like the two space for two kids essentially so there's like enough space in this house and there are enough bathrooms and there's a beautiful garden and I was really happy that I decided to build on the 50 by 40 lot and not the 65 by 64 because it was just perfect the way it is like the dimensions of the house the landscaping the space I think if I would have created this on a bigger lot it would have just been too enormous and I mean, I like gigantic mansions, but I was going for this more simple shape and I'm not really sure if this would have worked on a 65 or 64 lot. I mean, I'm honest, there could be like more space around the house. I was kind of praising myself recently when I like built a house on a 50 by 40 lot and there was like still enough space and lawn around it and space for a fence. I was running out of space here, I have to admit, but I still made it work, I guess. And this is like the garden, I just decorated a bit, I wanted to have lots of bushes and this is the barbecue area. I'm always placing so many tables and chairs, like in every single build, I have like five areas where you can just sit and have a barbecue, but here I just completely forgot, like I added so many areas for sunbathing and for just sitting and talking, but no barbecue area I don't know and then I was fixing that so I added one to like the basement area down here and here you can also see the home gym I just placed some gym equipment and then I remembered that there should be a bathroom as I mentioned earlier there should be a bathroom right next to the home gym like this would be ideal and this is why I just remembered and added it in and yeah, please let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that you would want to see on this channel. Recently I've been creating all kinds of different things. The Werewolves pack was really inspiring for me. I'm also always having a great time creating mansions. This is like, this will always be the case. But if you have like any requests, any specific style, like any vibe, something that you think should be on this channel, leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. And I'm just so excited to read your comments comments and yeah this is it this video is coming to an end you can here see lots of screenshots this build is available in the gallery it's cc free and unmodded in the gallery my id is kate emerald and you can also grab the tray files from my patreon and speaking of which it's time to thank my wonderful emerald patreons a big thank you to charlotte asia emma barnes lisa martin miku gdj saturated spark shannon mcclam Telena Lynn, Stephen and Tina Turner. Thank you so much for your gigantic support. A big thank you to all my other Patreons and thank you to anyone who watches my videos. I always appreciate it and I'm just always so happy to see like anyone watching my videos, leaving a comment. So I'm always so excited to hear from you and just thank you so much for everything. I love you so much. I hope you will have a perfect day. Thank you for watching and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.